this is our infrastructure technology integration facilitator for these Bridgewater Public Schools. And this is what it looks like to be on a Google Meet. So I'm on one right now. It's um, one that I have running. And you can see that I have two extensions running on this. I have an extension called Nod running. That's what's up here, this little tool. And I have an extension called Grid View running. Now I only have myself as a participant. So if I put the Grid View on, um, if I have more than you know what fills the screen, I would get to see everybody on the screen. And I can turn that off anytime. And I also have this option too, if I only want to show those with video, if I want to highlight the speakers, if I want myself to be included in the grid so I could see myself, um, that's there. I also have this, so I can use this on my end too. If I hit thumbs up, you'll notice it shows Aaron says thumbs up. If I raise my hand, you'll notice it shows that I raised my hand. And these do disappear over the time or the host can X them out. Um, I didn't notice if I could X out the thumb up. That one just disappears, it looks like. So students will need some direction with this. Um, and if it becomes a problem in East Bridgewater, we can, I can remove it um, from the admin, from the student devices. Um, you also have your standard features here. This is where your students will show. On this side, you do have the option to mute students one by one, but they have to unmute themselves. You also have the option when your students are in here to remove them from the meet. And then your chat box is here. Be sure to give directions on that chat box every time you run a Google Meet. And if you're looking for other options, you can present your screen, which is this little rectangle, and you can turn on closed captions as well. Enjoy.